Dr. April Spencer. I am a surgeon and a scientist and the owner of Dr. Spencer's Global Breast Health and Wellness Center. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing a topic that's very common and that is breast density. Usually this comes up after uh, one of my patients have had a mammogram or a woman comes in for a second opinion and say, hey doc, I got this mammogram and the report reads I have dense breast tissue. So number one, what does that mean? So what dense breast tissue really is, it's just a structure of your breast has increased thickening. So what are these structures? Fibro, glandular elements. Fibro means firm, glandular means glands. And so on mammogram, these structures appear more solid or more white. On a mammogram, you'll see three main colors, black, white, and gray. So on one end of the spectrum, white, is what the density appears. It's an opacity or whiteness in the background of the mammogram because those structures are thicker or more solid. On the opposite end of the spectrum, you'll see black, and usually that represents fluid. And then right in the middle, gray, which is fatty tissue that envelops the breast. So in terms of increased density, oftentimes a woman's breasts are more dense the younger we are and as we age that dense or thick breast tissue is replaced by fat so instead of the mammogram being majority white it'll appear majority gray or black because it's been replaced by fat now, how do you diagnose increased breast density it can only be diagnosed on mammogram so on the mammogram the radiologist interpreting the films will grade or rate the density based on how opaque the uh, mammogram is compared to the fatty tissue in the breast. For example, if it's rated an A, that means that it is primarily just fibroglandular tissue that is just minimal, usually less than 25% of the entire breast, but the majority of it is fatty tissue. Grade B is usually about 25 to 50% of the breast is composed of those fibroglandular elements. C is usually if it's greater than 50 to 75%. And then you have D, which is the majority of the breast is completely whited out. Notice as the images progress from A, B, C to D, it becomes more white. The whiter it is, the more fibroglandular elements that are present, and also the more challenging it might be for us to visualize masses within the mammogram. And oftentimes, this can be related to your family um, history of the structure of your breast. A lot of people that have dense breast tissue have a family history of increased breast density. So most women want to know, well, okay, I have increased breast density. What does this mean? Is this a bad thing? So if you are told that you have increased breast density, be aware of two things. One, it may make it more challenging for the radiologist to see uh, any dense masses that are in the breast, whether they're benign or non-cancerous or cancerous, because they're gonna appear the same color as those fibroglandular elements, which is white. It doesn't mean it's impossible, but oftentimes we have to uh, import other imaging modalities like an MRI or breast ultrasound to get a better view. The second reason why this might be concerning is because we have lots of data that suggests that women that have increased breast density have an increased risk of breast cancer. And right now, we don't know why that correlation is there. So we are looking uh, to doing research and figuring out why is the increased risk of breast cancer associated with increased breast density. Now, a lot of women wanna know, well, what can I do about it? Can I eat anything different? Is there a special diet? Are there any vitamins that can make this breast density go away? Can I just work out more? And the answer to that is simply, there isn't anything you can necessarily do about your own breast anatomy. There are things you can do to support your breast health. Um, one uh, thing that is data proven is vitamin D does help support um, breast health. So that's one thing in terms of supplements. In terms of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, it's not going to necessarily change the breast density. It will reduce the volume of fat in the breast, but the density will remain the same. Um, so where we are with things is the next question people want to know, well, if I've been diagnosed 
um, with a mammogram that has increased breast density, what do I do about it? What are the next steps? So the main thing is to talk to your healthcare provider. If you have a mammogram that's been rated, one with increased breast density, make sure that you see the healthcare, healthcare provider because you may need um, to alternate your mammograms, your screening mammograms with an MRI. It also may mean that you may need additional breast imaging like an ultrasound to get a better idea of the um, the nature of your breast density. So do not panic when you get that um, diagnosis of increased breast density. It just means that, you know, we'll follow you, of course, more closely in terms of making sure you get your clinical breast exam once a year and continue with your annual mammograms um, for your screening. But again, if there are any changes or even increased density over time that you may need to alter that alternate that with a different imaging modality i hope that was helpful if you guys have any questions please send me a, a dm via dr april spencer that's dr dot april spencer on instagram and under my name dr april spencer on youtube uh, but i hope to hear from you guys soon and again uh, stay well stay safe until next time we're gonna treat it beat it move on Thank you.